Hey everybody, it's Nick Lefebvre, and today I'm going to share an application for Google Drive that's sure to save you some time. I'm going to show you the easiest way I know to copy an entire folder in Google Drive so that it copies all of the contents, and if you have documents that are linked to one another within that folder, uh, the, those links will also carry over. So what I have here are a bunch of folders, and I have one for first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, and I want to make one for kindergarten. I set up an original folder that I made all of the other ones from, and to copy it, I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And in the Chrome Web Store, I'm going to use a, a script, basically, that's called Copy Folder. So to do that, you're going to visit the website by clicking here. And I've got a link to this below. And Copy Folder, you will have to authorize it to access your Google account. I've already done that. I'm going to select the folder that I want to copy. I could also paste in the URL. I want to copy this folder, so I'm going to select it, come down here and click select. So now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to keep my sharing permissions the same as the previous one. I've already got those set up. If you want to restrict access to it or change that, feel free to click no. And I'm going to copy it to the same folder that it's already the original one is already in. You could just go over here and select this button if you want it just to appear in my drive, that just general directory. So once you have your settings down, go ahead and click Copy Folder. Now the length of time it takes depends on the size of the uh, folder, obviously, but it shows you what's going on here. You can go ahead and do other work at this time. You can close the window. Everything's going to keep working. If you want to check on the status of it, go ahead and click that Copy Log, which is basically a Google Sheet that will appear in your copied folder. And now where it says progress, mine is showing up as complete. So if I come back to my Google Drive, there was my original, and right here, copy of original documents. And now I can go ahead and rename that file and use it as needed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out edtechpicks.org for more tech tips, tricks, and tutorials for busy teachers.